Dear Ham and Flabby, or Flabby and Pickle, you two talk a lot about fights you've had in the past, or just Doug, since Anthony's a pussy. And I want to know, what should I do about fights nowadays? Ever since America became so crazy, schools have started to crack down on fighting. In my school, if you're attacked, you can't even fight back without getting suspended for five days. So if I get in a fight, I either A, get my ass whooped and lay on the floor with my head up my ass, or B, still get my ass whooped, but I throw a punch in self-defense, this will get me suspended from school, and I'll lose my full-ride scholarship to college. Yes, they take it that serious. Sorry for the long message, and thanks, kind of flabby. What was the question? Should he fight or not fight? Fight. I was going to say not fight. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> if, if, if you're defending yourself, if you're not defending yourself, you shouldn't be fighting anyways. No, he just, you weren't even listening. I was. If, so if, if he's defending himself, yes. he loses his full ride to college. Yes. Yeah, you're a bitch. If you're if you're gonna <laughs> let somebody beat you up so you can go to college, you're a bitch. Don't and, let and, you don't let. And I was gonna take up. the opposite side. <laughs> like, Why? There's, there's nothing that would happen in that fight uh -huh. that will remain with you for the rest of your life, whereas not going to college will. Bullshit, bullshit. Thirty years later, you're still gonna be like, God, I was such a bitch. I mean, you'll, you'll be a bitch have, in a, a nice good house, job. though. You'll have a good job, nice house, nice car, driving your fucking Ferrari. Man, I was such a bitch that day. <laughs> okay, then he should he should punch the principal. Yeah, <laughs> right. At least at least people will talk about him afterwards. Right. You should. I don't know what the fucking answer is because it's stupid. You shouldn't. You should be able to defend yourself. Just because you're in school doesn't mean you lose the right to defend yourself. That's stupid. That's a that's here, a stupid here, premise. Here's what I think. I think that. If he smells a fight brewing, mm -hmm. then he schedules the altercation to happen outside of school hours so he can fight uh -huh. and and still go to college. Hmm. I wonder if they take it seriously enough to kick you out of college for scheduling a fight. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking nation of pussies are we raising that if there's if there's a fight like I got in quite a few fights in high school, mm -hmm. well, not, not quite a few. I got in a couple fights in high school. Mm -hmm. And if those would have been the reason that I didn't go to college, you know, I mean, instead of the alcoholism, <laughs> uh. <laughs> think how fucking stupid that is. Yeah, right. So you, you let something like you should be able to defend yourself. If you can't defend yourself again, we just went over this in the show that we just recorded. It's like, we're forcing people to like, accept just criminality. You're not allowed to defend yourself. If you defend yourself from somebody who's beating you up, you're the one that gets in trouble. That's a horrible precedence to set. You you should be able to fucking defend yourself if you need to defend yourself. That doesn't help him. <laughs> oh. Okay. How about this? It depends this? on how bad you want to go to college. <laughs> how about this? All right. If he fights in high school mm -hmm. and he's he's going to lose his scholarship, yeah. you represent him. Like in court? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's better off fighting or not fighting. I mean, <laughs> he's better off just not fighting at all and laying on the ground balled up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be pretty good if we could live stream you uh, in front of a judge trying to sue for a scholarship back. The, the only defense, the only defense I have is okay. Imagine you're drowning, right? And you're drowning and drowning and you don't know what you're going to do. And all of a sudden a hand reaches in to pull you out of the water. And when they pull you out of the water, you realize that that hand was black. Remember that story? No. <laughs> it was a story about racism. <laughs> From where? I don't remember. <laughs> How the fuck would I remember that story? I, I, I don't know. I thought I heard it in school. Either that or I made it up. <laughs> remember that story? <laughs> remember that daydream I had? Remember that daydream I had about the black guy saving me from drowning? <laughs> Hope that helps. <laughs> <laughs>